pull out my phone and start recording and all of a sudden i see i got a message on snap i was like what the hell who messaging me at three o'clock in the morning open the message all of a sudden i see hey it's me from tao beach what you up to so i was like for real be careful who you bring back to your room in vegas especially if they got a pretty face and a nice body proceed with caution so I book it out and on the record as I'm heading out, I grab my phone, look down at the Lyft app because I'm like, yo, it's going to take me about two minutes, three minute max to get down this hallway, down these escalators and out to the ride share pickup at Park MGM. If it's anything less than five minutes, I'm hopping in a cab. Fortunately, I look at the app and say the driver would be here in four minutes. I was like, perfect. Hit that confirm pickup button, says driver's on the way. I started getting myself down the escalator on the outside. So as I'm making my way through the casino, I'm just sitting there thinking like, man, I cannot believe today has played out like it is. I'm just sitting here replaying everything from starting the day at the pool party, meeting this nice girl with her cool friends, meeting these other guys, all the turn that we did at the pool party, then the gambling with the cool people and now the party bus night. Now we about to link up again at the end of the night is just like this feel like a movie it's like the scene from a movie that nobody will believe unless they saw it in person but it's real life and i had to realize it was real life because i almost ran into the door trying to get out the ride share area so i open the door pull out my phone says the driver is here because i'm like if dog not here i'm gonna cancel this ride says that the driver is here silver camry look to the left and i see them headlights from a silver camry pulling up hey tim Yes, sir. That's me. You, John? Yes, sir. That's me. All right. Cool. Cool. I see we're headed to Planet Hollywood. Yes, sir. And I need to get to Planet Hollywood on the double. He bust out laughing. <laughs> oh, okay. One of those nights, huh? All right, man. Let's go ahead and get you to Planet Hollywood. So we driving on over from Park MGM to Planet Hollywood. We just talking about the night, filling them in on how things have been. We start having Vegas conversations. Y'all know the normal ride share conversations. So as we conversating about what my rush is to get back to Planet Hollywood, next thing I know, we right there parked at the lift area. He's like, all right, man, we at Planet Hollywood. I was like, damn, boy, you won't plan. You got me here quick. He said, you did say on the double. Well, I got you here on the double. I was like, well, I'll make sure I take care of you on the tip, man. I appreciate that. As I'm getting out of the car, he's like, hey, my man, before you go, remember one thing. Get them gold packs because you don't want to take nothing with you that you didn't bring with you. I looked at him and I was like, you already know. He's like, all right, man, have a good night, man. Be safe. Out here. I was like, all right, man, you too. So I'm power walking up the entrance to Planet Hollywood, grab my phone, hit shorty. I'm like, hey, I just got back to Planet Hollywood, about to head up to Heart Bar. I was like, I'll grab one of the booths closer to the north side. So just come find me when you get here. She's like, all right, cool. We just got back a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to just switch shoes and then I'll meet you at the bar. I'm like, all right, cool. So before I go up that escalator, I'll go over to the bathroom real quick, make that pit stop because, you know, you got to make sure you fresh in any type of situation. Go in the bathroom, had to do a quick visual and mint check. Head on up the escalator. So I get to Heart Bar, grab one of the booths, the closest one by the stairs, and I sit down and I'm just sitting here still trying to process how I'm at where I'm at right now. This just don't feel real. And just like it didn't feel real how fast I got back to Planet Hollywood, it didn't feel real when I look through my peripherals and all of a sudden I see this nice figure silhouette walking over to me. And I just look up and I'm just like, hello. She looked at me and started laughing. She's like, hey, you okay? I was like, well, yeah, I was kind of daydreaming. And I don't think I woke up from my daydream yet. Because I know this ain't the same person I saw at the pool party. She's like, what's wrong? You don't like my outfit? Something wrong with my outfit? I was like, nah, ain't nothing wrong with your outfit at all. I'm just trying to figure out if this the same person. I can't believe you even here. I figured somebody else would have got your attention throughout the night. She started laughing. She's like, oh, you too nice, boy. How was your night? I was like, shh. Um, it was uh, it was cool, but uh, I don't think it was as good as it is now. I was like, look, let me get you a drink so I can get myself together. I was like, plus I ain't get to get you a drink at the pool party, and I ain't seen you all night. It's the least I could do. So she's just like, all right, yeah, that's cool. I was like, you want a Bay Breeze? She's like, yeah, let's do a Bay Breeze. So we going over to the bar. Tell the bartender I want to get two Bay Breezes. So the bartender going over there making our drinks, and I was just like, girl, I can't believe you was out here killing them like you is looking right now. I was like, ain't no way in the world I would have expected to see you tonight especially with you looking like this how was your night and she was like man we had a good night tonight but i feel you know everything i just want to sit down and relax my feet hurting and it ain't because i've been doing a whole lot of dancing it's just because we've been doing a whole lot of walking and as fun as it was it wasn't as good as i thought it would be and i was like 
that's tough to hear girl ain't no way you was on the wrong tour then because if you was with me whoo, you'd have been turned up from start to finish so we get our drinks and i'm like well you want to sit down and chill here and she was just like nah let's just go back up to the room i want to sit down and relax i've done enough standing and walking for the night and i've been around enough people i just want to go back and chill so i'm like all right cool let's go back to the room so as we walking back to the room i just look at her and i'm just like shaking my head and she just like why you keep looking at me like that what's wrong with you I was just like, nah, girl, I ain't seen you in almost 12 hours and you just ain't playing with them tonight. I saw you in a bikini at the pool party. You was looking real nice, but you went to the next level when you got out tonight. I'm just very impressed. That's all. Well, you look nice as well. I was like, look, you can be as humble as you want. And I appreciate that. But I'm out here looking like Burleson Co. Factory's next edition model. And you out here like you about to be a next month's edition of Vogue. So with all the humble respect, I appreciate that. But girl, you killing them. Stop playing because I ain't nowhere looking on the same level as you. <laughs> She started blushing and shit like, I don't know about being involved now, but thank you. So we get back to the room and as soon as we open the door, I was like, you know what's crazy? When I first checked in here and I got through this room, I looked, saw this picture up here with all of these girls and I was like, this got to be the sign for a good day. But if you would have told me that this sign was going to play out today like it did, I'd have thought I was dreaming. And so we get into the room and she's like, wow, your room real nice. Which room is this? I was like, oh, this is the resort room. The lady was cool and hooked me up with an upgrade when I checked in. I was like, which room y'all in? And she was like, I think they got us in a basic room. We got two queens, but it's not as big as this one. It's really nice. And you got a view of the fountain. All right, I see you. I was like, listen, I told you my last trip was crazy out here. So it was the least I could do to have some type of fun to get the vibes right, you know? So she's like, it's cool. Mind if I go to the bathroom? I'm like, no, nah, not at all. So I'm sitting at the table, just chilling, staring out the window, just soaking in the Vegas lights. And I'm just like, man, if the homie T knew what I was doing right now, he wouldn't be trying to be at the beach. He'd be booking that one way flight trying to come out here to Vegas right now. But he can keep his ass at the beach. I'm good without him. So as I'm lost in thought in the Vegas night, thinking about everything, Shorty come back around and she's like, hey, you all right? And I was like, oh yeah, I was just daydreaming. I'm like, Shorty, it's been a lit night. I was like, my turn up level just coming down a little bit. That's all I was like, but yeah, I'm good. I was like, how are you? I was like, how about you tell me about your night? You said you've had a night and that you've been around enough people. So what's going on? Why don't you share your night with me? And so she's like, well, before I start my night, can we cheers to this drink? Because it's been a day and it feels nice to just be able to sit down and relax. I was like, oh yeah, most definitely. So I'm like, all right, shorty, talk to your boy. I was like, matter of fact, let me cut on some music real quick so we don't feel like we in a therapy session because we are in Vegas. So she's like, yeah, please, I would greatly appreciate that. So I cut on some music. So I'm like, so how was your night? So she's like, boy, listen, she's like, tonight was cool. We started at Rock House, had the $5 drinks. It was cool for a little bit. And then we walked over to Tao, and Tao was really nice. It was a nice little crowd, but they were playing a whole lot of EDM and Top 40, which I'm okay with, but you know, I like that hip hop. Some of the guys on our tour were just weird. They just kept staring at us all night, but we went over there and was just like, hi, how you doing? And it was just like, oh, what's up? But it just kept giving off like weird vibes. Like I didn't know what they were on. So then we get on the bus and then when we get on the bus, like we're dancing and trying to have a good time and they're just like sitting on the back of the bus, just sitting down and staring like they don't want to dance. It was just weird. Then we get the Jewel and when we get the Jewel, like it was a really nice crowd. The music was on point. It was this guy who wanted to dance, so I tried to dance with him, but he didn't have no rhythm and I didn't know what he was doing. Plus he was being overly aggressive and it just got kind of awkward and uncomfortable. And then one of his friends was trying to talk to one of my friends and he just looked like a creep. I was like, wait, hold on, hold on. So you was what it do? that jewel and y'all was dancing and he couldn't dance with you you like one of the easiest people i ever danced with how a guy don't know how to dance with you that's pretty bad if a dude couldn't dance with you she started laughing she's like tell me about it it was just a real simple smooth dance nothing too crazy i don't know what he was doing he was all out of rhythm and trying to be extra aggressive it felt like he was trying to dance with me like he was working out at the gym i was like dancing on you like he was at the gym i'm like i know you short and everything but like what he thought he was doing squats or something i was like it's so easy to dance with you i'm like that's crazy she's just like yeah i don't know what he was doing but it was a major turn off and it was blowing my vibe so i just went and spent the rest of the night dancing with the girls but jewel was a fun time we just did a lot of standing around and dancing and it got to a point where i was just kind of like all right i'm ready to go and i was like no nah, you was ready to go because you ain't had nobody that could really dance with you or move with you i know how it is because our night was turned up all night i know how important dancing is i'm like it bring a whole different element of energy to you exactly how about you tell me how your night was ultimately when we was about to leave i, I didn't even know if you were responding to me honestly i just wanted to see what you were doing because you know we hung out at the pool party today but we never really got to hang out tonight and i told her i was like look shorty i ain't gonna lie to you 
my night was off the chain i had a bachelorette party on the bus and we was going crazy it was so much fun i was like our bus ratio it was like two to one on the tour i'm like we end up going to foundation room then we end up going to jewel and then we end the night on a record i was like so it sounded like i actually just missed you because if y'all ended the night at jewel we actually ended the night on the record so you might have missed me just in time because if i'd have messed around and saw you going in when i was leaving i'd have bust a 180 and went right back up in there with you but the tour was fun man our bartenders they kept pouring our drinks heavy i'm like the first stop we went from foundation room to jewel they was in there pouring our drinks like they was just trying to get rid of all of the liquor it was crazy we was on a pole going wild jewel if i'm gonna be honest with you was such a good vibe but it was like a blur because of how much fun we was having we got back on the bus and then once we got the on the record we were so turned up i was like that turned up tours is called turned up for a reason because they don't play we get the on the record and everybody was just on cloud now we had such a ball i was like i actually pulled out my phone so i could start trying to record on snap so i could show everybody how much fun we was having and as i was starting to record i saw your message and i was just like i know this ain't real it's almost three o'clock in the morning did she hit me like i was like i must be drunk right now yeah i wanted to hit you but i didn't know if you were gonna be busy or if you even respond i was like girl i was the one who asked you for your snap in the first place of course i will respond if you hit me even if i was busy like i'm just not that type of dude like i'll be giving my information out to everybody but we had a good time i was like tonight was crazy i'm telling you we was dancing from start to finish from foundation room to the bus to jewel we just we just had a ball we had a good time but if i'm gonna be real with you I couldn't ask for a better ending of the night because I'd have loved to been able to hang out with you to continue our vibes from the pool party throughout the night. So she was like, well, damn, it sounded like we was on the wrong tour. We did have a good night, but it sounded like y'all tour was where the party was. Listen, girl, I'm trying to tell you, if you was on the tour with us tonight, your energy would be on a whole different level and you'd be on a whole different type of wavelength. So I asked, I'm like, this your first time in Vegas? So you come out here often? No, this isn't my first time. It's actually my second time. My first time last year was with the girls. We had a really good time and it was so much fun. We wanted to come back and do it a second time but we've had a really good time this trip it's been really fun okay that's what's up i feel that what about you I remember you was telling me about your homeboy who was getting on your nerves last time this your second trip to vegas or do you come a lot yeah i've been out here a few times vegas is like a home away from home for me i like to come out here just because of the vibes and energy and today was a prime example of why i like coming to vegas so much the vibes all of the great energy is always such a good time my homeboy was his first time but he was so goofy and he was so worried about money it was 25 dollars to get from the airport to the hotel Tell them like, damn, what the hell we going to a whole nother city? $25 for an airport that ain't even nobody here. He just kept complaining and it was a headache. So I was like, it's nice to be able to come out here and be around good people and look at where I'm at right now and look at who I'm chilling with. She started blushing and shit. Oh, you so sweet. I'm not all of that. The humbleness is real. You already know what it is. So I'm not even about to sit here and gas it up. So we started talking about the trip. She was telling me they had been out there since Thursday and how they were just having to get away. And she was telling me that they was about to leave the next day. So it was their last night. And I was like, well, at least you got to end the night on a good time. Like, at least it wasn't whack. And she's like, yeah, no, we did have a good time. Honestly, if I'm going to be real, you were the highlight of my day. Because just from when I saw you at the pool party and the way you were interacting, you just seemed like such a fun, cool person. And once we left the pool party, even during the tour tonight, nobody just really had that energy that you had. That was another reason why I wanted to hit you up so I could at least try to hang out with you one more time before we left. So I'm like, oh, so you trying to make me blush now? I'm like, listen, I just be out here chilling for real. I don't be doing nothing special. But I was like, I appreciate that. So we started having a normal conversation. So where are you from? She told me that she was originally from Columbia but she lived in Miami and then she asked me where I was from I told her I was from North Carolina but I live in California now and so we were just chopping it up just having a good cool conversation oh yeah I've always wanted to go to San Francisco I hear it's nice up there and the pier is really cool to go hang out at and I've always wanted to see the Golden Gate Bridge in person have you been to Cali before oh yeah I've been to LA a number of times of course seems like Miami and LA just got some type of connection yeah LA is such a nice place to go hang out I honestly like Miami better than LA I do gotta go out to Miami I was like I've been trying to go for Ever. and since now i done met you i was like i gotta connect to miami you can show me around when i come out there of course if you ever come to miami we'll definitely show you a good time i can show you how we get down and hang out i was like all right that's what's up i'm gonna have to make that happen so she asked me what i do i told her that i do like online marketing oh you do online marketing yeah i do like marketing and promotions for different companies and stuff okay that sounds pretty cool so i asked her what she did and she told me that she did like working in an office and she did modeling oh you do modeling yeah i do modeling well i got a question have you ever been in vogue no i haven't been in vogue oh well according to drake you ain't a model if you ain't been in vogue 
She bust out laughing. You are so crazy. You know, I do some like modeling on the side, nothing big. So we just vibing and chilling. And next thing you know, she like, you got any liquor? My drink gone. And I was like, oh yeah, I got a bottle over there of that rock. You want another Bay Breeze? I'm like, I actually got rock. And then I got the pineapple and cranberry. Oh yeah, I'll definitely take another cup. All right, cool. I got you. So I'm making our drinks or whatever. And she's just like, this is a really nice room. We should have got this. So we just drinking and chilling and vibing. And she's just like, so how were the girls on your tour? Were they cute girls on your tour that caught your eye? Girl, listen, we was on the tour. I had a whole bachelorette party. We was all partying, turned up. I said, and most of them were attractive. Yeah, I was like, but if you want me to be real with you, they wasn't touching you. You just shut it down easily. She hella star blushing. Oh, you're so nice. And I was like, for real, I was like, but you know you cute, though. I was like, what you want me to just say that to boost you? No, I was just asking. That smile was just so nice to yours. I was like, I got a nice smile. I was like, girl, you just trying to make me feel good. I said, my smile, all right. I said, the truth is your smile, though. Your smile, a light aroma. So she look at me. I look at her. <laughs> Gotta love Vegas, man. Gotta love Vegas. So I looked down at my phone. I'm like, damn, it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm like, damn, we just sitting up in here chopping it up, chilling, having good conversation. It's already 5.30. Yeah, I know. I don't want to stay in Vegas an extra day just because I met you. But I know the girls are already ready to go. They were saying how much fun they've had. But they're ready to go home and wrap up the trip. Like, now I want to stay till Monday. But it's okay. We'll definitely have to catch up another time. I was like, oh yeah, most definitely. I was like, well, I know you need to go back soon because you probably want to get you some sleep before y'all leave tomorrow. I was like, I was like, what time y'all leave? Oh, we got a two o'clock flight. I was like, oh, okay, that's not too too bad. You can get you some sleep. Like, yeah, we decided to do twelve o'clock checkout so that we can sleep in a little bit. And I was like, that's smart right there. I was like, that's super smart. I was like, well, let me go and go to the bathroom real quick, and then um, I'll go ahead and walk you back to your room. Okay, that's cool. So I grab me a shirt and some shorts, go to the bathroom, change real quick, because I know when I come back to this room, I'm about to crash. It has been a hell of a night so i come back out the bathroom asked her she ready to go yep damn you ain't waste no time changing i was like girl listen it's been a vibe but i'm about to crash crash for real so we leave the room i walk her downstairs you don't got to come back over to the south tower so you know give her a hug i was just like you know nice to meet you and you know we'll catch up soon told her to let me know when they leave or whatever all right cool i'll talk to you tomorrow I'll let you know when we get to the airport and stuff i'm like all right cool so she go back to the room i go back upstairs and i f hit the bed Flatline. This call will be monitored and recorded, and your voice may be used for verification. What? Welcome to Chase Card Services. Para español, oprima el asterisco. Please enter your full 16-digit credit card account number. If you need more time, press star. Damn. So I wake up the next morning feeling like I didn't hit the lottery and now I'm on vacation, man. Yesterday was such a damn vibe. Like I said before, it felt like I literally just started filming a movie. It was such a great time. You couldn't have scripted it any better. It was such a hell of a day. I go in the bathroom to get myself together, come back into the room. I open my drawer because I'm like, all right, man, let me map out my day to day. You know, I was gambling, won my gambling money yesterday. So I had some cash in the drawer. I open the drawer. I look and I'm like, where the hell is my cash that I had like five hundred dollars in cash in the drawer? I look in there. It's a hundred dollars in the drawer. I'm like, where the fuck my money go? Look around. Don't see no chips nowhere. I'm like, where the hell is my chips at? What the fuck? So I open my suitcase, start going through my suitcase, go through my pockets I had last night, open my wallet. No chips chips in my wallet no cash in my wallet i open up my zippers open up my other pockets i'm like where the fuck my money go so i'm sitting on the bed i'm like listen i know i was drunk last night i know i was vibing but i'm like bro i know i left this money because as soon as i came back from gambling i put all this in the drawer and got changed to go to the club i'm like nah bro where's my money at so i'm sitting there and i'm just thinking i'm just replaying night i'm like all right i got dressed i was listening to the music i was turned up put my cash and my chips in the drawer uh, everything else in the suitcase i took that out i grabbed my club clothes threw my other clothes in the suitcase i had my wallet where the hell is my goddamn cash so i'm sitting here and i'm like yo i know i was not that drunk 
to the point where I don't know where my cash was. I didn't spend no cash. The only cash I brought was to tip the host for the party bus. That was $20. So where's my damn cash? I didn't bring no cash. So I start going through my wallet, start pulling on my credit cards. I'm like, maybe I got so drunk, I put some cash in one of the credit card slots. Then I realized one of my credit cards is missing. I'm like, what the fuck? Now I'm missing cash in a credit card? Oh, hell no. I'm like, I know I have my credit card because I was paying for stuff last night. And I just bought a drink last night downstairs. Where the hell is my goddamn credit card? So now I'm hot. I'm walking around the room like, bruh. I know this girl ain't just come up in here and raw me last night. I know she ain't come in my room being all friendly and cute and looking all fly and shit, finessing the system and then just hit me. I'm like, how the fuck did she even get me anyway? All my stuff was in the drawer, was in here with the whole time. I'm like, all I did was go to the bathroom real quick, but I went to the damn bathroom. So now I'm hot. I'm like, yo, shorty got me when I just went to go change. All I did was swap shirts and put on some shorts. That's some bullshit. So I grab my phone. I'm like, hey, shorty, how you doing today? How's your day going? You doing all right today? And she's just like, oh, yeah, I'm doing good. She's like, we're actually almost at the airport. How you doing today? I was like, I'm doing all right on this good old Sunday afternoon. Just wanted to know by chance, would you happen to see any cash laying around in the room last night? Because I had some cash that I can't find. And she's like, no, I didn't see any cash last night. She was like, I just only saw you use your card at the bar. And then when we were in the room, we were just chilling on the bed. So she was like, I didn't see any cash in your room last night. Oh, OK, I got you. I had about $500 in my drawer last night, but when I went to look this morning, there's only $100 in there, and I don't recall using any cash, so just trying to figure out where it might be. She's like, oh, wow, you had some cash disappear? She's like, I'm sorry to hear that, but she's like, no, I didn't see you use any cash last night, and I didn't even know you had any cash. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, I guess it just got up and disappeared somewhere, but I'll keep looking for it or whatever. I just wanted to see if maybe you saw something last night. Thank you, though. She stops responding. 25 minutes later she responded she's just like oh well i just got through tsa at the airport i'm sorry that this happened to you hopefully you find your cash but it was so nice to see you last night and hopefully we can see each other again sometime yeah it was nice to see you too thanks so much for hanging out with me maybe i'll see you again someday steaming like shorty done came in my room all i did was go to the bathroom to change i showed her great hospitality got her a drink porter or my own drink in the room and she gonna come in here and take my card take my cash i ain't even ask her about my card so i'm sitting here now i'm just sitting here cooling calming down trying to take a deep breath i'm like all right the cash fuck the cash i'll just go gamble some more get some more cash my cards i need those we don't play about cards so i start really trying to sit down and retrace i'm like all right I had my card. I paid for the drink last night. Matter of fact, let me look at my bank statements just to make sure no extra charges were using because that might say everything I need to see. So I pull up my bank statement. I start looking at everything and I see no charges were out of the norm. Everything was that I did last night. The last charge was the charge that I had at the bar last night. So I go downstairs to the bar. The dude's like, oh, yeah, no, we don't have any cards on file. I'm just kind of like, all right, that's cool. Thank you. So now I get back up to the room. Now I'm steaming because I'm like, where the hell is my damn card? If this was the last place I used my card last night, and I know I put it back in my wallet Where the hell is my damn card So I'm in the room I'm just sitting here I'm hot I'm like alright My card missing No unauthorized charges from what I saw Where the hell is my card Where could it be The cash Shorty got me for 400 Nice lick on her I'll just live with that But I gotta have my card Cause that's access to everything else I can't play about my card I sit there I start recouping I'm like alright I changed out of my clothes Went to the bathroom Came back out so I go back to the bathroom and I'm looking around somehow, some way, no idea how it happens. My card is under the crevice in the bathroom by the sink. I'm like, ain't no way my ass was that damn drunk where I was rushing to change some clothes and my card just happened to fall out of my wallet to the bathroom crevice by the sink. But hey, at least it's here or whatever. So I get my card, I go in the room and I just sit down and relax and I'm just like, okay. At least she didn't give me for my card, she got me for my cash whatever so i'm like i'll take the 400 dollar loss because ultimately that was just the money i won from gambling anyway and i was like we'll just keep it moving we'll just chalk it up to some bullshit for the night pour me some liquid iv and i'm just drinking and i'm just taking a deep breath because i was like man i got took from my credit card and my cash i was about to act the ass in this casino so as i'm sitting on the bed drinking my liquid iv at least knowing that i got my car back I look at my phone and I get a message 
I see Shorty hit me. She's just like, hey, we're about to take off. But I wanted to thank you again for such a fun night. We had a great trip, but I'm so glad that I got to hang out with you that last day. That was one of my highlights of my trip. Hopefully, I'll get to see you again, whether it's in Miami or for another Vegas trip. But it'd be nice to hang out with you again sometime. Sounds good. Hope you have a safe flight. I come to Vegas often, so if you'd come back to Vegas, maybe we'll cross paths. Still got to figure out about Miami, though, but at least I know I got to connect in Miami. She's like, yeah, even if you don't come to Miami, she's like, I do want to come back to Vegas, especially after hanging out yesterday. And then maybe we can cross paths at the same time and get to enjoy Vegas again. I looked at that message and I thought to myself and I was like, oh, if you come back to Vegas, we're definitely going to cross paths again. All right.